Hello and welcome to the Shai Yu channel where I listen to music I've never heard before and if you love music please like, comment, subscribe, leave your suggestions in the comments below and yeah if you look on the screen right now I have my stats for Spotify and you can see it has been infected with Billy Woods and Kenny Siegel. Past four weeks I've got Soft Landing, Hoofy, Checkpoints, Kenwood Speakers. Uh, um, Spongebob, Spider Hole, A Day in a Week in a Year, Toofy, Steak Knives, Bedtime at the bottom. So yeah, <clears throat> really been enjoying his music since I've done the other reactions. Can't wait to get into this one. I have heard um, Remorseless, which is a great song, and then 9x and asylum slightly but i haven't revisited those that much so yeah let's go straight into asylum wait am i hearing footsteps in the song in the morning the maid brings coffee from the kitchen some nice strange music plays i lay in bed and listen it's black in the road of dendron blackout rains rumble when he start the engine Oh, preservation. Wow. I didn't know he produced this. Wines, the hills are alive with landmines. I live in my mind. Not sure what I'm looking for, but I'll know what I find. My mother sent the gardener to look for me, but the sky is a great place to hide. Jesus. So, <clears throat> the opening line, or opening couple lines, I love that. It's, um, similar to oh now i can't think of what song it was but he's mentioned these sort of things like police listening in on his studio sessions um with the aerial satellite dish on his roof or whatever it's sort of giving this um feel similar to how mf doom creates his character of just this mischievous up to no good artist working on his craft in private and i love that um i get that same vision when he says um <clears> hmm <throat> i don't know who menjitsu is i know socialist government okay interesting so that along along with them having an automated gate up like um being on guard a little bit Repainted brick walls atop which now cameras rotated. So, but it's also someone that fled from Zimbabwe. So, maybe they have the cameras for the authorities. But I love this line. My mother sent the gardener to look for me, but the sky is a great place to hide. Never told the truth in your life. Can't start now. <laughs> it's only safe as long as they want you around. Tomorrow, it's no telling. That was one odd snare that it added. Interesting. Wait, Kabiesi. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This sounds like the guy in um, The Usual Suspects. It wasn't Kabiesi though. Wow, he sounds just like uh, the guy that talks about Soze in The Usual Suspects. Kobayashi, that's it. See, wait, doesn't it sound similar to Kabi Yesi? And then, obviously, this has nothing to do with the album, by the way, but... But listen to how he sounds. Okay, he doesn't sound like him that much, actually. Proposal to you, gentlemen. What do you want? My employer requires your services, gentlemen. Remind me of this guy. You participated in the hijacking of a truck in Buffalo, New York. The cargo was raw steel. Stennis hijacked a two-prop cargo flight. His name is Kobayashi. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Amazing, amazing film, by the way. This detention seems to look well on you. <laughs> but so does captivity look well on our arm. We are fattening up for the feast. Oh, great day comes. How dare I have shuffle on. What happens We're going to let it go straight into comes. track two though, and No Hard Feelings. Under the Black astronaut, cock space, and jet off my what a transition. 
Challenger launch, burning bright, burning death, burning the firmament. Tall boy will catch the hip. Oh my days, I love when he has so much conviction in his voice like that. Lips, black marionettes, dance limp. Oh my days, wait, I have to start this over. He's got that conviction, like when he says, um, pride every board from the floor, pride before the fall, but he fell sure. When he said that, um, uh, what was it? To another door, something scudded along the floor, belt buckle, whippy roar, stood up all night. Every plan had a floor. Oh, my camera's fucking up. But that's one of my favorite things about Billy. Maybe he doesn't do it too often, but like that part in Hoofy is insane. And I listen to that every day. This is giving the same kind of vibe. Cop space suit and jet off my steps. Challenge and launch, burning bright, burning dead, burning the firmament. Tall boy will catch the hip, black boy burn crest. That's just glass thickness, crack mirrors, flash rictus. Skin pulled tight to the skull, that's the sickness. Winning, it's winning, it's winning. Brother hopped out that new car smelling like no hard feelings. After taste <laughs> bitter melon and lemon pillings, heat rises, so it's hard feelings. Mm. I pay rent on the tent like they stealing. Like they stealing. Like they stealing. Like they stealing. Wow. This is like his thoughts um, when he's around drug addicts and having survivor's guilt. That's super poetic how you put it all up. That's if the annotations are correct, but it did sound like like that. Channel flipping, clicking the remote, the home team losing at home and attack on the train. I can't wait to listen to all these all these new songs. It's like re upping on drugs myself. That's like a drug, Billy Woods music. Absolutely love how he started that track with all that conviction, like I said. And amazing imagery here with the drug addict or whatever. We're gonna go into straight into track three, Wolves. Wolves? Not sure what that is. Watch poor, never broke again what he said on the farm. Right, NBA young boy. Back by nightfall and <laughs> that's the annotation, that's all it says. Day was long. Sweet water out the dipper, salt in the mouth of a river, bones lit at the beach nord. Mm. I love that line. Nowadays, scavengers come before the wolves finish. Hold on, because that was really clever. Um, false witness, wolf tickets. Nowadays, scavengers come before the wolves finish. Teeth of bear. And a wolf, you'd think their teeth are bear and scaring the scavengers away, but. The scavengers are not scared at all. Something different. The huts was empty, cold, still warm in the kitchen. You could just imagine. His imagery is fucking insane. Huh? What on earth? Yeah, it seems like he's talking about colonialism and some um, pushback and resistance from the victims of colonialism. But the way he puts it is just insane every time. Oh, it has a pretty long intro, I'll let it play out. It's in Zimbabwean? Or... Not sure. Um, but shipwrecked to Europeans swimming with the virus. The virus could be colonialism itself. Or the mindset that they carry is a virus uh, to poison the minds of those who could be somewhat naive because they don't have access to as much knowledge as these Europeans. Crazy song, crazy, crazy song. We're gonna go into track four, Sauvage. Sauvage, like the fragrance. Baldy James? Huh? I don't know who's on here. Hold on. Do you hear that? It's a fucking ice cream van outside. I thought DJ Preservation was sampling some fucking ice cream truck. He plays that regular ice cream truck song and then he plays the Simpsons theme. That combo would bring any kid out. Or probably not. Kids, kids these days probably don't 
know much about Simpsons, right? Mm. Super interesting beat. All these random sounds going off. It sounds like I'm in, I'm gonna go back a little bit, but it sounds like I'm in a server room. Got like keys as well. Damn. What a line. This is a great line. Mirror image of the blog. I paint a picture perfect. He's like the perfect combination of a lyricist and like, like a street nigga. That is crazy. Wow. Wow. This is a lot. Oh, I love that line. Uber Menches. Okay, a lot of that went over my head, I'm a B roll, but some of it is processing slightly, but it will take a lot of listens, yeah. So this guy has sort of the chorus at the end of the uh the song again i love all this undercover stuff that he does pretty often use the wrong word on the phone sim cards are switching out he's like super aware of slipping up superstitious cut my face out of the pictures amazing Kingship. <laughs> this is also from that um Nigerian movie, or maybe it's a different movie. Okay, track five, the doll drums. Cut the gas with precision scissors. Wow. I love how this was cutting, this was cutting, and this was cutting as well. Oh, I wonder what that means. Waterproof boots. Time piled up, but it was never enough. Time flies when you call. I feel like the lyrics in this album are a lot harder to process than um than maps and um hiding places, which is pretty exciting to be honest. I like that line though. Muchos problemas if you don't have it for the plug. We exchange time for drugs. I learned not to speak submarine skirt and mountain peaks. Fernando Poe's Black Beach. You many traders off the coast of Ooh, that brings me back to um um crawl space and spider hole from hiding places. That's cool. Can water in the links of the piece to call the three four out of double park cheap. I can imagine that starts the minute I leave at the corner the waterways deep. That was cool. A bit of a slower one, but heavy on the lyrical content, as always, of course. But but yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's an equatorial ocean where there is little breeze. Oh, I remember this one. The beat, at least. I love the beat on here. Damn. I remember this part. That saxophone is almost like scaring the hose, right? It's scaring the hose song. Also, I'm not a huge fan of Elucid, but maybe he'll grow on me a little bit. <laughs> but I like him on this song. He sounds less corny on this one, I guess. Interesting. This is also featuring Quell Chris and Denmark Vesey. 
we did hear Quo Chris on sound check. I like his cadence though. It's a nice change. <laughs> oh, that was a good transition from the verse. I like that line, it ties back to um, the Europeans' uh, colonization. Mm. Great verses on here, man. And there is an underlying theme going throughout this. And it made me have a look at the album cover again. Um, so I did a quick search. And it is um, Two Moors is, is what the art piece is called. Of two Africans. It doesn't say whether they are slaves or anything like this. But um, it does indicate that it is a concept album. And a lot of the lyrics are indicating that too. And um, the name of the album, Aethiopes, is an ancient European name for African people. Wait. Why does it say... Yasin Bay next to preservation. No shot that's Muzda. Right? Wait, DJ Preservation is a duo? I see the pictures there. And on this other thing it says it's Dr. Yen Lo and Yasin Bay. That'd be crazy if um Mosdef is if Yasin Bay is producing these as well. Okay. We'll go into track seven, Christine, featuring Mike Ladd. Face like a demon, we took a left, they went straight, we all laughed, but I seen it. <laughs> some had the trap in the trunk of the beam, and some kept the cracks up front so they could eat them. Some went through the windshield, some Damn. went through the prison. Some got yapped out, driver's seats and parked. I never heard anyone say eating crack, even though I know what he means. It's like swallowing. But... The way that rhyme scheme panned out was super cool. We took a left and went straight. We all laughed, but I seen it. Some had the trap in the trunk of the bimmer. Some kept the cracks up front so they could eat them. Some went through the windshield. Some went to the precinct. Some got yapped out driver's seats in parking lots and left bleeding. So some went through the windshield. That must be they got caught whilst in their car or they ran out and managed to get into a car. And all that adrenaline from the police chase, whatever, they ended up crashing. Some got caught, went to jail. Some got yapped out driver's seats in parking lots and left bleeding. Yeah, that whole part is super cool. All the different avenues taken to escape the feds when you have when you're in possession of of drugs upsetting, upsetting, upsetting the town. From I like that repetition upsetting, there upsetting, upsetting, upsetting the town. They looking for the vehicle. that's from a Jamaican song that Bob Marley popularized that's interesting I, I'm gonna have to check that out I wonder what that means gingerbread house full of abused kids Asleep at the well. Gently over the guard rest one in a world full of cowards, it's bound to be tension. Ooh. Hold on, because there's some interesting lines here that I don't want to speed past. Asleep at the wheel, gently over the guardrail, flipped heads or tails. Yes, that okay. In the annotation it mentions No Country for Old Men, one of my favorite movies. The character study of, you know, Chigger. Chigger. The main like antagonist is super interesting to watch um okay but anyway one it, okay i like how he used that heads and heads or tails for whether you die or survive one died she survived asked why i replied god's not real for many like theists when if when this happens one died she survived they say oh god saved you for a reason but what about the person that died? In a way, according to many holy books or scriptures, God isn't real and the devil is very real because of how our world operates is very much in line with the devil's motives and not God's motives. So 
instead of always looking at the good side of these situations and giving credit to God, I think it's more logical to say God's not real. And if if there's any truth within these these books, then the devil is real. So I want to touch on because <clears throat> it's something I've tried to research on and I read into the Bible and the Quran. So just to gain more knowledge. And um yeah, I find it interesting, so yeah, super cool line anyway. From our DNA to Cambridge Mass Mafe, that's Skippy and Pule. Dispatch from Venice, Holla Stacy and Kilgari, tying that car mama near Mali and Obama co property. This is cool, it's like spoken word here. There's not um there's no drums. Break the bank like moose. Ooh, okay. Never mind, there's drums now. We still feed on dreams and need a remedy. Trauma not an enemy. We still feed on dreams in need of remedy. That's super cool. Okay. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff here that I don't understand. Whoa. Whoa. What a transition. Okay. Heavy water. Track eight. Featuring LP, let's go. And Breeze Bruin. Whoa, is that a piano? I wanna go back a little bit. That shit sounds insane. And then the bass was just was just coming in there. Benzino, isn't that Coilery's dad? I come bearing gifts, rat fleas, came back, black exorcist. Claire 13 X had the white girl sick. Shimmy down the steps with the wink. You could be an experiment. Bro, this beat is insane. Box brand new off-lock computers. Simulation rebooters. New version of gunner for light, the voice useless. That was a nice handoff there. Nice alley oop. Google Chrome, the browser that I'm using right now, but Chrome is in the gun. Brutalist blue boys moving, they shooting like bad cops. Nothing new. Google Chrome is confusing. Like Google Chrome. Like Google about these bad cops. Well, wow, that's cool. <laughs> Bro, he sounds kind of different to the first um, verse. Wow. Oh, Seven, no my days. Classic. I wasn't a huge fan of Seven, but... Wow. That's cr Whoa, that's crazy. Hold on. Village is apathetic. So, crowd sounds is piped in. The film Black and White. Who better to play the niggas than white men? I like that. Black and White, back when films were black and white, was also in line with times where uh, blacks and whites were seg segregated. I love that. So in film, black and white was together, but in re in real life, black and white races were segregated. But who? But in these movies, who better to play the niggers than the white men? It's interesting because in with the black and white, it might be even hard to. Actually, no, it's not hard because you could still decipher who's black and white in black and white movies, right? But it's just that in those times, they had all the control over black people. So with blackface makeup, that's crazy. Okay. Great song again, man. This is, I love the themes throughout this. Okay, we're going to go straight into track nine, Harlem with two A's. Featuring Fatboy Sharif. Fatboy Sharif. I like that. Swimming in palm oil, that's crazy. King of all blacks, hey, human yeah, that's a good metaphor. I fall apart. Motor cars rusting in the garage. Brandon Dillard's wild in the yard. Slash and burn the past. Never Love this old school sample. Arms, lock hands, no spare parts. The band played those were the days I watched them hang. I ate red, red in the stadium stands from crumbling balustrades. I watched, I watched them hang. Like drill rappers. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Reaching with chopped arms, looped hands, no spare parts. The band play, played those were the days. I watched them hang. I ate red red in the stadium stands from crumbling balustrades. I watched them dance like draw rappers. That is some crazy imagery. You watch them hang, dying, dancing like draw rappers. The way they're, the kind of, the way your <clears throat> body reacts to when you're hanging and you kind of move your feet back and forth like they're doing the sturdy. Because when I think of draw rappers, I'm thinking of UK, but New York draw rappers, right? Because he's from New York and they do the sturdy like Kai Sinat where you flick your leg back and forth. So that's that's crazy imagery. Watching someone being hanged and their body reacting to it is like getting sturdy. That's crazy. That's crazy. British accent. This is from the same movie again. Destiny has entrusted in our hands. So this is a two part track going into part two you now. Wow, those dead notes on the piano. Maybe they're not dead notes. The unslaved nigger might be Wow, this piano's got piano's going crazy by the way. But the unslaved nigger might be referencing the survivor's guilt. Right? No, maybe not. But he says Moorish Bandits actually, which refers back to the album cover. African men were referred to as Moors. Okay, so there's Moors and Ethiopes, both a similar meaning, I guess. Ah, okay. Who painted the two Moors picture? What <laughs> this guy? That is crazy. That piano. Damn. I didn't know DJ Preservation when um oh it's also produced by Billy Woods. Interesting. Because I haven't heard DJ Preservation do uh seen some of his work. The work of a genius. I don't like being photographed. Oh I like that. Because he doesn't like showing his face. But that's a cool addition now. Okay, let's go into track ten for says. That's a French city, right? Or town? Versailles? I think it's pronounced. I don't want to pronounce it incorrectly. Versailles. Okay, Versailles. Alright. For the most part. Actually, by the way, day traders, on average, lose money so not even minimum wage oh my gosh no way he just referenced that okay it's hot in these streets Mosul Mosul I don't know how to pronounce it I might shoot an Arab <coughs> a reference to The Stranger by Albert Camus, which I've read, of course. It's called The Outsider in the UK. Great book. So yeah, I've got a bunch of annotations in there. Also, another song I really like that references The Stranger is Killing an Arab by The Cure. But yeah, great reference. Jet to Paris. One in a million makes a killing off the curb. Death spot, D spot. in the dirt. Bitches burn. Keep your mind off what is mine, or you'll be smiling on a shirt. It ain't ever over because the. Ooh, I like that. That's a cool line there. Keep your mind off what is mine, or you'll be smiling on a shirt. In the street, stepping with a reason. Somebody deceased dangling from each necklace. Damn. This guy's got some good lines. Sure, they stay hungry. God bless the child that Sounds like a reggae song there in the back. Yeah, that's definitely a reggae song that they 
sample there, right? Oh yeah, for sure. I hear it now. This is a different one, I think, but... Every dollar that you drop is stacked on top of their heads. Okay, yeah. We're going into... That was a cool line. I think D-Spot or Despot, he went in on that one. This one's featuring Shinehead. It's track 11, Proto Evangelium. Oh, I like that. Of course, life gives you lemons, make lemonade is the same. But life gave him lemonade straight away. And then he poured spirit into it, mixed it with some alcohol. Not to make a noise. That's Wave cool. one hand like all that gotta get destroyed. I see how your man move all him raps is null and void. Disregard it. The game thick with car artists and hucksters. She called money so for judges. That's a no for me, beloved. And the rhymes is mostly rubbish. I get it. Try to pay the rent, but that's not black empowerment. That's Yo, he's shitting on these. Niggas got a lot of nerve, I give him that. But I don't he is shitting on these um whack artists that rap about nothing i see how your man move all him all him raps is null and void disregarded the game thick with con artists and hucksters flip a cardboard box free card monte social justice that's a no for me beloved and the rhymes are mostly rubbish i get it trying to pay the rent but that's not black empowerment that's you trying to pay the rent <laughs> Oh, I love that. Before you come to me, brother, make sure you stop the gas. Love this verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that I'm against people who ram about nothing, but I like how he, he expresses that though. This guy reminds me of someone. That's nice. Ghetto Network News GNN Like CNN I don't know what the C stands for on CNN But I'm pretty sure that's a playoff CNN An MF Doom line hmm. Interesting, I didn't recognise that straight away Wow R.I.P. to his auntie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the annotations say that she passed away. Oh. Hold on. What did I mean? For the last, I paused. Looking back at the road, I walked. They said, come now, it's one more. Is that hinting at the afterlife? Sorry, I'm shaking my camera. Yeah, I don't know if that's hinting at the afterlife or not, but let's go into Remorseless, which I absolutely love. I love this song. Heard it already. And it is amazing. Just that flute and with the vocal, the vocal samples. I don't know if it's samples, but... Shining city up on a hill, I burned it like Nebuchadnezzar. This world hard to even take its measure. Three Oops. rules filled with ink and treasure, still strangle the king, cause it's now and never. It's a freedom in admitting it's not that gonna get, get better. better. Washing your hands of people you know forever. I'd be a liar if I feed surprise a goat eats where it's dead. Twenty, I'm not that good at math, but common sense, I, I got, got plenty. plenty. In person, these guys are tempted to change, say envy, but PTSD. Oh my days. I love when I love how he says in person these rappers watches look tempting and then the beat goes down. It's such a like it's a simple line, but it's like so sinister. It makes you want to be wary of being around him. Like if other rappers heard this, I guess they'll be a bit cautious around him. Also a reflection of his upbringing probably. Or where he's come from. Seeing these like blingy diamond things being quite a successful rapper being around these big even bigger rappers with all this jewelry it's tempting to just take it when you're that close rappers watches look tempting to change say envy but ptsd keep me counting never spend it oh yeah he does say ptsd here so yeah memories and sad endings it's all payment pending 
I'm not concerned with generational wealth. That's its own curse. curse. Anything you want on this cursed earth, probably, probably better, better off getting, getting it, it yourself. yourself. See what it's worth. That is so beautiful, isn't it? It's fucking crazy. Photograph a young tune common. Spaghetti links tangled like ramen. Everything behind the mask rotten. Spaghetti links. Well, let me see what spaghetti links look like because I haven't heard of that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's just a. Oh, I see. Money phone pocket down. Wrong come save me. Sweet old ladies poisoning pigeons in the park. Bro, the imagery of this midday midday sun and this pigeon park. I was in the Dollar Tree break room playing cards for quarters. Stop lost posters on the walls. When he says hallmark car marks, the hallmark means bootleg, right? Like a downplayed version of car marks. Doesn't want to hear. Marxist. Yeah, Marxists. Talking point from disingenuous corporations. He has done the grimy retail job with the break room posters that accuse everybody of stealing. Look at the possible consequences. Yeah. And Karl Marx was racist anyway, so. We don't fuck with him. He might have some good points, but. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so in this movie that he's been sampling throughout this album, it does it's directly related to colonialism, which is what the album is about, and um, racism. I'm intrigued to listen to it over a few times. The emotional affair was the best. Final track, Smith and Cross. Smith plus Cross. Relationship, doctor, patient, cush cake like LASIK. Resty bitch face, breast plate, one woman bracelets. You can shoot arrows all day, kid. Heart Wait. This sounds beautiful, by the way, but intoxicating. Let's not ruin it with sex. Relationship, doctor slash patient. So, not mixing pleasure with business, I guess, kind of thing. This is the wavelength. Here today, gone tomorrow. Wow, hold on, there's a lot of cool lines here. Is that this is Cupid? In this case, however, the woman is armored and able to deflect the arrows. Wow, rest in bitch face. Okay, it seemed like he he didn't want to ruin it with sex and wanted to have just a cordial doctor slash patient kind of relationship. But you're saying rest in bitch face, like she's the one that's unamused with taking it further. Breastplate, Wonder Woman bracelets deflecting Cupid's arrows. So maybe they both have similar sentiments. I don't know. Oh, I haven't heard that mixture before. I don't like sorrel, which is hibiscus. That combo sounds nice though. It could save it, possibly. There's a lot of history packed into this album. He's touching on some Caribbean stuff here as well in Cuba. Wow, that is powerful, man. Mm, this is one of the best um, beats on the album, too. Enslaved Africans in the production to run. Yeah, so these are some of the things they were after when they enslaved a bunch of people. Sugar, molasses, rum, sun blasted, bastard sun, referring to them being out outside as slaves in the sun, blasting on their skin whilst they're working hard. Well, he's done it again. I mean, super impressed love that there was a boldy james feature that i wasn't aware of and um an lp that was i really like that track with lp on there really nice and cohesive felt super complete it was a concept album and i'm pretty sure maps and hiding places were also concept albums they were just a bit harder to grasp the ideas were a bit harder to grasp i think 
this has a lot of history and complex lyrics packed into it as well but the underlying theme is pretty clear and i'm gonna love going back to it and digging a bit deeper maybe checking out that movie that he sampled a bunch of times but yeah if you enjoyed the video please like comment leave suggestions below and i'm out peace